The dispatcher module in Camellio offers SIP load balancer functionality and it can be used as a SIP traffic dispatcher. One of the most common use cases for dispatcher module is to load balance traffic between media servers such as Asterisk or FreeSwitch to implement high available and escapable voice over IP solution. In order to understand this module, I prepared a lab which I'm using FreeSwitch servers as voicemail application servers. Using Camellio Dispatcher module, we can load balance SIP traffic to multiple FreeSwitch servers. With this implementation in this lab, if one or even two of our FreeSwitch servers goes down, users still will be able to reach their voicemails. Also, if you want to add more voicemail servers, we can do it without any downtime. Before we go deep into installation and configuration steps, let me demonstrate how this works. In order to demo this capability, I have registered user1 and user2 SIP users in my Camellio server and I set the status of my user1 to busy so that calls redirects to voicemail. Also, I have SSH to my Camellio and FreeSwitch servers and I'm using SNGREP to show the invites that are received in my Camellio and how it is distributing between FreeSwitch voicemail servers. So let's make some calls and see how uh, Camellio Dispatcher module distributes the SIP traffic between my free switch servers. I'm calling from user 2 to user 1. The person at extension As you can see, it's going to the voicemail and it's reaching my first server. Let me call again. Now it's reaching my second server. And let's call again. The person at extension now it's reaching my third server. So as you can see, the SIP traffic is uh, dispatching or distributing between my free C servers. Of course, now I'm using round robin uh, algorithm, but it can be set for different uh, mechanisms that we will uh, discuss in the later in this video. Now let's deep dive into the configuration. Let's start with Camellio installation. In the previous video, I have installed Camellio with MariaDB backend support. But here, I'm installing the Camellio without any database backend, and we will work with Camellio default configuration. You can find all the installation and configuration steps in my GitHub, Learn Camellio, and in the Camellio Dispatcher module article. I'm using Debian 11 for this installation and I'm adding Camellio and Debian repo to be able to install the latest version of Camellio. So I'm adding the key and also I'm adding the Debian repos to my etc apt sources.list. I need to update and easily install Camellio but apt install Camellio. That's it, Camellio is ready and installed. To ensure that the Camellio is installed, you can and it is running, you can run you can run the command ps iux and grip to Camellio. Or you can uh, run netstat na to ensure it is running on port 5060. Before I configure the dispatcher module in the Camellio, I want to show you how we can route the calls to our voicemail server using default Camellio configuration. Default Camellio configuration is in etc Camellio. Let's open the Camellio.cfg file and we can see the default configurations that the Camellio team did a great job and uh, have the building blocks of the uh, Camellio configuration files that we can use for our configuration. Let's search for the voicemail. As you can see, uh, we can enable the voicemail by commenting the definition of the voicemail variable. So let's enable it. This is how we are enabling. And also we can set the voicemail server and port address here in our variables. So let's put 
put our IP address here. I'm using a domain name. I put my free switch fs01.omid.blog and also the port of my free switch that is 5060. I have already configured my free switch and it is accepting all the connections from this Camellio server. In order to know how you can configure the free switch to accept the connections, you can refer to the link that I have in my uh, GitHub article. Next step is to save the configuration file and restart the Camellio. In order to test the configuration, you can register two users in your Camellio and then make one of them unavailable. In Zoiper, for example, if you select the status and you change it to the on the phone, then uh, it will be busy. Keep in mind that the default configuration of the Camellio doesn't do any authentication. So you can uh, authenticate or you can register any user with any password into your Camellio. I choose user one and user two, and I set any password and then it's already authenticated. I have already registered user one in the other laptop and make it unavailable or on the phone. So it sends, when I'm calling from user two to user one, then it will send the calls to the voicemail system. In order to see the flow, you can run the command SNG rep. If it is not installed, you can easily install it by running command uh, apt install SNG rep. And if you do not know what is it, then you can refer to my video in my channel. Uh, let's run the Zoiper again, run the Zoiper run the SNG rep and send a call to user one. And let's go to the uh, SIP packets. As you can see, the uh, packet, the invite is coming to my uh, proxy. Uh, it's sending to the uh, second soft phone, but that soft phone is busy. And then the uh, Camellio proxy sends the invite based on the voicemail configuration that we have to our uh, to my free switch server. That's the IP address of my fs blog that I have set in the Camellio. And the call is uh, answered. So, and if I hang up the call, you can see the buy, buy is received and then the 200 OK. So this is how um, we configure Camellio to send the calls to a voicemail system. What we will do in the next lab using the Camellio dispatcher module is to send to three different free switch servers. In order to dispatch our traffic between our free switch servers, we need to load dispatcher module, set dispatcher parameters, create dispatcher.list file, and finally use dsselectdst function to dispatch our SIP traffic. So we're going back to our configuration file. You can search for uh, counters.io, this is the last module that is loaded and then load the dispatcher.so module. We also need to set the dispatcher module parameters. In order to do that, we can just uh, use the mode pram dispatcher. We set the dispatcher list. This is the list that will put the list of our free switch servers that we want to distribute between them. And also we can set some uh, other parameters that we will discuss in the later video. Also, we need to uh, change our voicemail route. So let's find the uh, two voicemail. Here, this is the default uh, code that uh, routes the call to the uh, voicemail server. What we need to do is to use the DS select function and we add a group and a policy that is round robin here. So let's add for the different scenarios that we are actually routing the voicemail. And finally, we need to create our dispatcher.list file. And we add a list of servers, free switch servers in the group one. So all of them are in the group one. And this is the list of my free switch voicemail systems. And finally, we need to restart our Camellio service. And it's ready 
uh, with the dispatcher module. So you can test it by registering uh, two soft phones. I mean, the same test that we have with the voicemail, but this time when you are calling, like the demo that I had in the uh, in initial part of the video, it will send to all three servers. Thank you for watching this video.